Retro Romantic here. I was headed back from my collaboration with American Explorer today. It got really, really rainy, so much I could barely see. So I pulled over, and as luck would have it, I pulled over right next to a caboose and a steam engine and some other things. There's a station across the way as well. It's gated off, but maybe we'll take a look at that through the fence. So let's check it out before there's another torrential downpour. Let's go. Seaboard Railroad through the heart of the South. There's also this here, which I'm not actually sure what kind of car that is. What kind of train car. So here we have a steam engine, Gainesville Midland. We are in Gainesville, Georgia. Down here, wheel level. Wow. Those wheels are tall. I wish I could get right next to those and show you, but I don't have any equipment with me right now to do that. Okay, so actually there's a fence right there that I was able to just sit my camera on for a second, but for a little size comparison here, you can see how big that wheel is. I'm only an inch or two taller than it. Check this out. This is a massive, massive piece of machinery here. catcher there. <laughs> Engine 209. Look at that bell on top. Look at that light. It's massive. So if you guys want to tell me anything about this engine here, feel free to do so in the comments. It's bigger than any I've ever seen. Ever. I mean, it's bigger than the steam engine they have at Dollywood, and it's also bigger than the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad steam engine. So yeah, let me know what you think. Even the um, engineer sits higher in this one. I mean, that's way up there.
here's the coupler here where another car latches on to be pulled. Good lord, this thing is huge. Can't stress that enough. there where the engineer would be this is a coal burning engine this car right here behind it would be carrying coal So here's the back of that car, here, it's definitely lengthy, I can say that much. So this is gated off. You can probably get in here during normal business hours. I'm here after that and it's Sunday, Sunday evening. Um, so it is gated off, but I do believe this is the old train station. They've got it fixed up very nice. I'm not sure what they're using it for at this point, but it is very kept up. You can see the manicured yard here as well. And they're doing something over here as well. Um, this is part of this little railroad park. So there may be more to see in this area as well at a future time. But here's another view of the backside. So yeah, as you can see, this definitely looks like it was part of the train station. It does look like it is being used for something now. I saw a sign for an arts council, but I'm thinking this was originally one of the railroad buildings. And you can see here, it does say Arts Center. So now we know what it's being used for. So that's, that's really good. That's a nice use of an old train station and buildings there. 
much better than just being left to decay and crumble to the ground. All right. I am headed out. And there is an alarm going off somewhere that just won't quit. <laughs> So this about wraps it up for this short little video. Just had to stop in and check out these train cars and that engine over there, get a little glimpse of the station, all that good stuff. Again, if you know something about any of these things that I showed today, any of these train cars or the engine, please let me know down in the comments. Always glad to hear from you. I think that that's about it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to The Retromantic. Ring that notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming out. I will see you soon. Seaboard signing out.